happiness to him. Best of luck with that new show. <laughs> uh, to each his own, I guess. Yeah. All right, so um, let's talk about Jeremy Lin and this Lin sanity. Yeah, I've been that's hearing about happening. that. Uh, to Linfinity and beyond, Lin, Lin, Lin. Anyway, um, <laughs> Ben and Jerry has recently came out with a Lin Sanity ice cream, and a lot of people are up in arms about it because it is um, just like an ice cream with swirls of lychee and fortune cookies in it. Uh -oh. And I think some people are offended by that because he's Asian. How, so how did they get this through through the works? Well, yeah. I don't know. I think it was like kind of. Um, it was the Ben and Jerry's at Harvard Square. I don't think it was kind of like okay. It was so like it wasn't a corporate underground. No, definitely not corporate. It was okay. like underground, Linsanity ice cream. I feel like that would be a gross ice cream. Just to Ben and Jerry's can do no wrong. They I could put like true. grass in the organic. Yeah. They could play off that theme. Yeah, fair trade, like, dirt <laughs> in the ice cream and I would eat it. Like, if you're going to use someone's name in your product, like, I always thought, like, you had to get permission from that person. Like, you know, go to him and be like, yeah. hey, can we use you? So if somebody wanted to make Lucas Schneider ice cream, yeah. they would have to ask me? Probably. Or yeah. I'm sure I'm not the only Lucas Schneider around. Like, yeah. How does that work? That's tricky business. Tricky I, business. I just feel like it was a really stupid move after all that happened on ESPN. Like people were fired over, over the whole ordeal, and editors were oh, laid the off. the headline? Yeah. What was the headline? Um, I'm not gonna say. Okay. But yeah. Don't it say. It wasn't it. very <laughs> appealing for anybody. I feel bad for the guy because I feel like I don't even know how does he feel. Like has he come out about it? I don't know. That's a good question, though. No. How that I ever. Do you know that you could potentially buy his boxers on eBay? Really? Yeah. Um, somebody said that they bought them from him for a hundred dollars. A stupid friend or something. From him? Somehow they got from his underwear. <laughs> um, and the seller was asking for ten thousand dollars for the gray briefs because in the future. They're gonna be worth a fortune because somebody is gonna be really weirdly like, I need these underwear. Big fan. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they're like taken off eBay now because they don't really, it's dubious. The source is dubious. They're not quite sure if it's somebody Legit. just like put their underwear up there and we're like, these are Jeremy Lynn's. You know, I, I pegged him as a boxer guy anyway. They're boxer briefs. Oh, boxer. Oh. Okay. So, so he's that's both the best fields. of both worlds. Good for him. <laughs> if I were Jeremy Lynn, I'd put my old stuff up there. I'd be like, this is my Q-tip. <laughs> I just got a haircut. This is it. a baggie Who of my hair. Who my nose? tissue. Yeah. Oh, man. So many Jeremy Lynn items oh. I would sell if I were famous. Anyway, we're going to um, take another break, look at that promo, and we will be right back. Fact. University of Wisconsin La Crosse is ranked the number two college in the Midwest. UW La Crosse is ranked number 34 for out of state students among public universities nationwide. UW La Crosse is ranked as one of the most military friendly schools in the nation. UW La Crosse is number 24 among medium colleges and universities for Peace Corps volunteers. a Wisconsin man arrested for making his own cheeseburger and fries at Denny's. Just walked in there, said he was like the manager, and they let him through. So was he dressed the part? He was dressed the part. Um, I think he had a suitcase. And he's just like, yeah, I've been working for 30 years. And then like the other manager was just kind of like, what? So they called like corporate, tried to get this figured out. And then people thought it was weird because he 
making his own cheeseburger. Well, wasn't he drunk? Probably. Um, I heard that. Oh, That's he had cool. he had possession of drug paraphernalia, so he could have been high. So he had a pipe was, in his briefcase. Sh yeah. <laughs> was he gone by the time that corporate figured out he wasn't supposed to be there? No. Still they, chilling yeah, with his burger. Yeah, because the cops got him. I say it's all about confidence. You walk in there, you yeah. take the place by storm. I'd probably try it. Like, I used to work at Dairy Queen, and I every time I go into a Dairy Queen now, like, I want to go and make, make my own blizzard because nobody can make it correctly. I'm really? very specific. Maybe the guy used to work at Denny's, he's like, you guys mess up my burger every time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, maybe say. he was just sick of waiting. Well, he also had um, an electric weapon on him. So like a taser? Like a it doesn't rod. say, but... He was just going to yeah. take Denny's by storm, wow. hostages just I to get burgers. I want my burger. Yeah. That's I think awesome. that's how it was. Madison. Madison huh? How about it? Wisconsin. Good old Mad Town. Yep. I feel like that's a sketch Denny's. I like live by Madison, but that's I, so, it's a sketch Denny's. I so can, do you have this Denny's in your mind? I have this picture in my mind of this guy going in there wanting a burger. I think it's awesome. Maybe you've seen him before. Maybe he was a regular. Okay, that's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no one recognized him, so I'm not sure. Drifter. Maybe he's been like doing this for a really long time, just a drifter he's going through town Denny's to town. All over the nation. I like it. Well, and he could have picked like any other restaurant too. But so Denny's Burgers, he that's yeah. that's what's up. They got. I've never had a. I've never been to Denny's. I didn't even know what Denny's made burgers. No, I thought it was me too. Strictly yeah. I thought they were breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. I'm sorry, I go to IHOP. Did you know you can get free pancakes at IHOP today? Really? Oh, International dang. Pancake Day oh or whatever. Free pancakes really? that I have. Too bad there's not one in La Crosse. Is there one in La Crosse? Nope. You we need need to have get one. terrible restaurants in this area, but that's just... You, well, we, no. we got some I good like ones, but we need, here. like, yeah, we need... Some more Denny's, obviously. Yeah, because I'd go in and make my own burger. Uh, saucy. Saucy, saucy. Saucy stuff. I yeah. guess, speaking of food... There was also students tried to poison a teacher's coffee and cupcake with rat poison. Uh oh. But it was foiled because one of the boys felt guilty and knocked her coffee over. So. But little brats. Just I little know. brats. They were in fifth grade, ages two of them were ten. There was actually three. It was two boys and a girl. And one was eleven. And they just thought she was too strict of a teacher. And so they brought some rat poisoning to school. Weren't they at a school for bad kids? No, like they got suspended from the school after the incident, and then they are now at a school for bad kids. Oh my god! No that criminal charges sense. though. Poor teacher. Well, they got off lucky if they, if no charges were. People brought are against calling them. for it though. Like they want criminal charges brought against them. Well, against I think them. I that's, think that's legit because yeah. remember hearing about that story that like kindergarten class plotted to murder their, oh, their yeah. teacher, and it turned out to be super ominous and foreboding. Like they planned everything. That's so creepy it that is. like a child can get to that point, but whatever, I guess. It's like Chucky. Is is their parents messed up? Like or how do they even like come up with these ideas? Well, Bad parents. One of the parents the, problem. the reason that the whole thing came to light was because the parent was bragging about how their son saved the teacher's life by knocking the coffee over. And he, that boy was the one that came up with the idea. Uh, so terrifying. So obviously not good parenting there. <laughs> yeah, no, not good parenting whatsoever. Those kids should be severely punished. And I agree. Yeah, dealt with in the strictest way possible. Anyway, thank you for watching Afternoon Delight. Join us on Thursday for a week in review here at WMCM, and we will see you later.